12 pound tarpon. Look at that. These things actually get a lot bigger than 12 pounds too. Hey, I'll show you guys how you can catch these marine monsters out here in the Everglades in Florida and Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations, guys. Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital, and today we're going to do some fishing. We are out in the Everglades in Florida, and we're fishing for tarpon today. That's right, the big marine monsters that are out here in the salty delta of the Everglades. We're going to try to catch those guys. I've only caught two of them so far, and I have done a lure fishing for them, lua fishing. But today we're going to try uh, float fishing for them with large minnows. Now, the setup I have is my Fenix or Phoenix, however you want to pronounce it, 14 foot 10 inch pole. I've got my Fat Boy Spin 4000 reel. And let me tell you that the fish out here actually get rather large. If you're fishing the Salty Delta, you're going to run into some good sized snook and uh, even some good sized red drum, and the tarpon get quite large as well. So this reel has a 15.4 max drag on it, uh, max capacity of 30 pounds. I've got 20 pound braided line on it right now. I have noticed that some of the larger fish, the snook uh, trophy and unique snook and some of the larger red drum as well, kind of take a toll on this fat boy spin 4,000. So if you have a heavier duty reel and you want to come out here fishing, you might want to equip uh, your rod with that heavier reel, heavier duty reel um, as the fish do get, do get pretty big and there is a chance that you might might damage your reel if you're using the Fat Boy Spin 4000 out here to catch them. I don't have another reel at the current time, so this is going to have to work for me at the moment. So I got it loaded up, like I said, with 20-pound braid. I've got a 4 odd hook. We're going to start off with a 4 odd, excuse me, but I have, if the uh, fish that are out there, if I'm getting a lot of smaller snook, then I'm probably going to bump it up to a 6 odd because I want to limit... The amount of small fish that bite and i want to try to go for the larger fish and tarpon generally are larger fish so we're gonna we're gonna go that route four odd hook right now might bump it up to a six knot fishing large minnows guys got the large minnows on there the big boys and we're gonna see if that'll entice some of these larger fish to hit as well and uh got the depth set down to 45 inches 45 inches, large minnows, starting off with the four rod hook, 20 pound line. Let's go out there into the salty delta of the Everglades, Florida, and see if we can't land ourselves some monster tarpon. So here I am out in the Florida Everglades, and I've been fishing out here trying to catch tarpon. I've been catching nothing but snook. And then I got this thing on the line here. I'm not quite sure what it is. Could be another snook, but if it is, I'm assuming it's got to be a trophy or a unique. I'm really hoping, though, that whatever's on the end of this line here is a tarpon, because I have only caught a couple out of here. Be nice to catch a couple more. Look at that. That thing is way out there. Guys, I actually, uh, I actually hooked this thing over on the left hand side if I ever get this monster in or whatever it is I'll show you guys exactly where I cast it for it I uh, was not recording so I was catching so much snook and then this thing hit and I've been fighting it decided to hit that old record button just in case it happens to be a tarpon we'll see if we can eventually get it in here man I'm gonna need a new reel, I think, if I'm gonna come out here again fishing on this side of the uh, this side of the Everglades here in the Salty Delta because there are some big fish over here. Yep, there are uh, there are big snook, there are trophy and unique snook out here. 
There's also Red Drum that uh, gets a trophy size, I believe. Maybe even unique, I'm not sure. And there's Tarpon, the elusive Tarpon, guys. Tarpon seem to be very hard to catch out here. Like I said, I've only caught a couple of them. And when I say a couple, I think I mean two exactly. I mean, I haven't ran into many Tarpon out here, and I think those two I caught off of lures, casting spoons. Whatever this fish is, though, it is biting on a large minnow, so... I think I also got, uh, no, I only got a four out. I thought I had a six out on, but I guess not. Regardless, whatever this thing is, it is a monster, man. It is just taking that line. It's not letting me get it in very easily. I had brought it in almost halfway. I think it was out to about 160 earlier. 160 feet out there earlier. And I uh, got it into 70 right now. Hopefully I can get it in all the way. So guys, I gotta throw this out there. I've uh, been working real hard on this channel for those of you who are subscribers and viewers who regularly watch the content. You guys probably realize that I've been trying to upload almost every day now. Uh, if not every day, then I, I might slack off and get every other day, but been real difficult, real difficult to keep these videos coming steady to you guys. Um, so I just want to throw this out there, guys. If you want to help out Jake Vegas Digital, I do have a donate link down in the description below. No pressure to donate, but it sure would help this guy out a lot. Uh, like I said, I do spend a lot of time um, working on these videos, editing them, working on the thumbnails, working on the sound, everything to get, get the highest quality content I can do out to you guys. So another thing that helps out, if you'd like to help out, just clicking that like button. That like button if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful really helps me out. And of course, to all of you who may be new, if you haven't done so already and you want to stay up to date, please subscribe. All right. I got that YouTube yammering out of the way. Let's get back to fishing here. Man, got it 34 feet up. This doesn't look like a snook. I don't think it is. Let's see. Nope. This is a tarpon, guys. This is a tarpon. Boom. Basta. Look at that. Holy cow. 27 pounds. $950, new personal record for me. Well, that's, uh, <laughs> that shouldn't be too, uh, too weird considering that I've only caught two of these guys so far. This is my third. But man, look at the size of this thing. Big old marine monster here. 27 pounds. Holy cow. We are definitely putting this guy on the stringer. Man, nice fish. All right, so I'm fishing at the Salty Delta, and I casted right over in this area just past the twigs out in the water, the branches that are kind of sticking up there. I don't know if you guys can tell in the YouTube video, but there's some branches out there, and I just cast uh, as far as I can out there right past those twigs and let it sit and see what type of fish actually hit. A little bit later in the day, probably about an hour, guys, uh, after catching that tarpon, I've caught a few snook. Uh, we got a ding. We got a ding. We'll see if uh, this fish that is out there takes the bait under. Got a four rack, got a large minnow. I've caught some pretty decent sized snook after that tarpon, but oh, look at that. We got a hit, guys. We got a hit. Maybe this one is a tarpon. Let's hope.
pasta, one more tarpon, 23 pounds, guys. Eh, not as big as our first one, but man, still a big fish. Look at this guy over here. He's checking it out. Man, yeah, you ain't seen a fish like that before, have you, buddy? <laughs> nice size tarpon, nice size tarpon, 23 pounds. Yep, we're going to go ahead and put this guy on the stringer, add him to our collection. Left and came back here, guys. I ran out of large minnows, and I caught those two tarpon earlier. We got a ding. Got a ding out there. Been sitting out there for a little bit, but we finally got a ding on it. Anyways, left and came back, bought some more large minnows. Hoping to catch more of these tarpon out here, guys. This seems to be a good hot spot. There we go. We got a fish on. Look at that. Could be a snook, though. That's one thing I want to point out. Really point out to you guys. Um, the tarpon over here. Well, actually, all over the lake. Um, there are snook all over the lake. There are red drum all over this area. As well as the tarpon. And all three fish seem to bite similar lures and baits here. So... If you come out here fishing strictly for tarpon, there's a good chance that you might catch a few snook here and there, or a few red drum here and there as well. Or uh, if you're lucky, you might land some tarpon too. The tarpon seem to be a bit more difficult to actually catch out here uh, than the snook and the red drum. But look at that, man. This fish is taking it out there. Look at that setting, or uh, rising sun, I should say, burning. Just burning off there in the horizon while we try to reel this fish in. And guys, I'm definitely, definitely going to have to get a new, more uh, heavy-duty reel when I come out here fishing for these fish again because this particular reel just, uh, just isn't cutting the cake. I mean, it's doing okay, but it looks like I've got quite a bit of damage to it from fishing these fish out here, or catching these fish out here, I should say. Definitely going to have to upgrade. The rod seems to be doing okay. I got the 20-pound line on. That seems to be doing okay as well. It is the uh, the reel that needs to be upgraded if I want to come out here and fish for these tarpon again, man. Look at that thing just still pulling out there. Could be a trophy snook. I've caught him out there in that area as well as uh, there's unique snook in here too that get rather large. Might be one of those. We'll find out once we get this this fish a little bit closer here. Holding it steady. Try to bring it in. It's splashing out there. Now tarpon, I think this might be a tarpon, not a snook, guys. I'm pretty sure this is a tarpon. These tarpon that are out there uh, tend to fight a bit differently than the snook. And look at that. I think I saw a hint of blue. I think I saw a hint of blue. I'm hoping I did, because if that's the case, then it's uh, it's definitely a tarpon then and not a snook. We'll see. We'll see if we can get him in here. Yep, that looks like a tarpon. I just saw it broke water. This looks like a tarpon. I'm pretty sure, guys. Let's see. Yep. Yep, we got another tarpon here. Tarpon number three. Little bit littler, little bit littler, 18 pounds here, but still a nice size fish. Yeah, look at that thing. I like the way these things look. They got a they got a unique, unique look to them. But they got the blue on top, the silvery body. Look at that thing. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and take this guy. Let's put him in front of the sunlight here and see that. Look at that. Isn't that photogenic there? Look at that tarpon. Glowing in the sun, almost majestic there. We'll put him on the stringer and see if we can't catch any more. Oh yeah, we got another fish on here, guys. Still fishing that same area. We've been fishing the entire time. This one feels like it's a big fish too. Like I said, could be a, could be a red drum, could be a trophy or unique snook. Hoping for that tarpon though. If this happens to be a tarpon, we'll have four four tarpon that we've caught out here that'd be a nice nice day uh, day of fishing well technically two in-game days but <laughs> only been about an hour a uh, couple uh, about an hour or two hours out here fishing uh real time for me anyway hopefully we can get this guy in here he feels like he's got a little bit of fight to him not sure yet because it doesn't feel doesn't feel like it's quite as large as 
uh, the three tarpon that I caught earlier, so it might be a snook. I don't know. Man, that sun is burning bright out there. So I switched it up to a six out hook, hoping to keep those uh, smaller snook off of it. And uh, yeah, look at that thing breaking the water out there. Man, that's so cool. Out there in the sunlight, that really is, really is a uh, sight to behold. Switch it up to a six out hook. Still fishing the large minnows, guys. Been fishing these large minnows out here the entire time. Seeing that thing jumping out there, I think it might be. I think it might be a fourth tarpon. I don't think it's a snook. It doesn't feel all that big. It looks like a tarpon. I think I saw blue. Did I see blue? Not sure. Yep, we got it, man. We got it. It is another tarpon. Four tarpons total, guys. Four of them. That ain't bad considering everybody says they're so hard to catch. I've honestly I've only been out here for about, uh, I think about an hour and a half, two hours in-game time here. Fishing for these guys. We got him. Put him on the stringer. I think, uh, even though he was a little guy, I think that's, uh, that's a good spot to end this episode here, guys. Hope you enjoyed it as always. And, uh, yeah, gonna conclude. You guys, you guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, shoot that like button. If you want to stay up to date on future content, haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas for Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world. And we will see you next time.